Cartilage is an avascular, smooth and elastic tissue that consists of chondrocytes and an extensive extracellular matrix. Chondrocytes are specialized cells that produce and maintain the extracellular matrix. Extracellular matrix is the extracellular part of multicellular structure that typically provides structural and biochemical support to the surrounding cells. So what are the functions of cartilages? It can act as a smooth surface for bone articulation within joints, play a role in bone formation, and also provide structural support, such as the cartilage rings in the trachea. Now, there are three types of cartilage that differ in appearance and mechanical properties. Hyaline cartilage, elastic cartilage, and fibrocartilage. Let's first focus on hyaline cartilage, which is the most common type of cartilage. Hyaline cartilage forms a thick layer over bone ends and joints, and it is also found in the ribs, the septum of the nose, which separates the nostrils, and the trachea. Let's take a closer look at the structure of hyaline cartilage. This image is a longitudinal section of the trachea, which is an example of hyaline cartilage providing structural support. Hyaline cartilage is covered externally by a fibrous membrane known as the perichondrium. Perichondrium consists of an outer fibrous layer and an inner chondrogenic layer. In the inner chondrogenic layer, we can see some spindle-shaped cells. These spindle-shaped cells have the capability to differentiate into chondroblast. So what are chondroblast? Chondroblasts are the precursors of the chondrocytes, which are the mature cartilage cells, and also chondroblasts contribute to the formation of the extracellular matrix. As we mentioned before, chondrocytes are mature cartilage cells. So where are they found in the hyaline cartilage? There are spaces called lacunae throughout the extracellular matrix, and chondrocytes are located within these lacunae. And chondrocytes in hyaline cartilage are often arranged in clusters of two to four cells. Extracellular matrix of hyaline cartilage has a glassy appearance, and it is composed of mostly type II collagen and proteoglycan and hyaline cartilage that covers the articular surfaces of movable joints is termed articular cartilage. In general, the structure of articular cartilage is similar to that of hyaline cartilage. However, the free or articular surface has no perichondrium. Now let's talk about the elastic cartilage. Elastic cartilage is found in the epiglottis, larynx, and the pinna of the external ear. This image is from the pinna of the external ear. We can see some general features of elastic cartilage that are similar to hyaline cartilage, such as the cartilage matrix, which stains blue, the chondrocytes within lacunae, and also the perichondrium at the top, which is stained purple and dark blue. However, unlike hyaline cartilage, elastic cartilage has abundant network of elastic fibers, which gives this type of cartilage its flexibility and elastic characteristics. And finally, fibrocartilage. Fibrocartilage is a combination of dense, regular connective tissue and hyaline cartilage. There is also no surrounding perichondrium, as in hyaline and elastic cartilage. Fibrocartilage is found in structures such as the meniscus and intervertebral disc. The general structure of fibrocartilage can be seen at low magnification, with alternating layers of purple hyaline cartilage matrix and thick layers of dense connective tissue that have type 1 collagen that stains pink. We can find chondrocytes within their lacunae, similar to the other types of cartilage. Fibrocartilage also has scattered fibroblasts that are typical within the fibrous regions of the tissue. These cells can be identified by their long and thin nuclei, such as the one seen in this image. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.